Let's now do conversions with multiple steps. Look at this problem here. How many seconds are in two hours? There's no direct conversion between hours to seconds. We find that one hour is 60 minutes and one minute is 60 seconds. So this conversion will take place in two steps. So how do we do it? We, what we need is hours to be converted to seconds. So let's start with hours and how will we convert the units? We'll say two hours and we multiply it by a conversion factor which has got the R so that it gets cancelled out. So this one has the R which should come in the denominator. So I have this is into 60 minutes upon one R. The R is cancelled out here. And then we have to multiply it by conversion factor so that we get the seconds and the minutes are now cancelled. So for this relation, for this equation, what is the conversion factor? The minutes should come in the denominator. So 60 seconds upon one minute. And the minute is now cancelled out. So we are left with seconds. So our answer would be how much are two hours in seconds? The answer is in seconds. It is two into 60 into 60 seconds, which is equal to 7,200 seconds. Do you see? So what did we do? We used conversion factors and we used them in such a way that the previous unit gets cancelled out in the next step and we string them together to get the desired unit in the end. Let us say that we had, instead of two hours, we had two days and we wanted to convert two days into seconds then we would have had another conversion factor here and what would that be? The days would be one day has 24 hours. So we start with the we have two days. So two days into the day should come in the denominator. So 24 hours upon one day. Cancel it out so that you are sure that you plugged in the right value. Cancel out the unit. So now we have R's. In the next step, we should have R's in the denominator. So we use this relationship. It would be 60 minutes upon 1 R. The R gets cancelled into, we want seconds in the numerator now. So 60 seconds upon 1 minute, we want the minute to be cancelled out. So this time, we get 2 into 24 into 60 into 60 seconds. So two days would be equal to 172800. 172800 seconds. Right? So let us take another problem now to be clearer about it. A jug contains two liters of milk. How much would it be in meter cube? We know that one liter is a thousand centimeter cube. So there's no direct relationship between a liter and a meter cube. So one liter is a thousand centimeter cube and one meter is a hundred centimeters. But we want to convert it into meter cube. So what should we do? We should multiply if we just cube, make the cube of this whole conversion factor. We would get one meter cube into hundred centimeter cube. So hundred centimeter cube would be 10 to the power 100, the cube of 100 would be 10 to the power 6 centimeter cube would be equal to 1. The cube of 1 is 1, so 1 meter cube. This is the relationship we have. Now, what's the aim? We want to move from liters to meter cube. So, we have 2 liters. Plug in the values now. The liter should come in the denominator. So, 2 liters into 1000 centimeter cube upon 1 liter, the liter gets cancelled out, multiplied by the next conversion factor, which would be, that is, uh, we, what do we want? We want to cancel out the centimeter cube. So we have 1 meter cube over 10 to the power 6 centimeter cube. The centimeter cube and centimeter cube are cancelled out. So what are we left with now? We are left with 2 into 1000 into 1 upon 10 to the power 6 meter cube. 
1 upon 10 to the power 6 would be 2 into 10 to the power. You're left with the 1000 is cancelled out with 3 zeros here. So you're left with the power of 3. So if you bring it to the numerator, it will be 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube. That's our answer. Right? So this is how we use steps or we use we string the different conversion factors, the unit factors to get the desired result. So this was dimensional analysis. Practice as many questions as you can. Thank you.